What does what does sustainable mean to you guys? Um, because it's kind of, it's it's not organic, which is pretty well defined by the uh, right. FDA. What does that mean to to the people who run an organization like this? Um, sustainable for us is basically balancing the econo- economic side of things, the social side of things, and also the environmental. Uh, that's that's how we define sustainability. Now, how far away would that be from organic? Well, organic, like you said, has very strict standards. And um, organic, you're allowed to apply certain chemicals and not. In sustainable, you you can you can pretty much um, use chemicals, but you want to try to use as few chemicals as possible. And then also, for example, pest, for pest management, it's called integrated pest management. You want to practice integrated pest management, which means you can spray chemicals, but you want to monitor the amount of chemicals you spray and also have a schedule, know when you, you really need it. And um, I, yeah. I, Remy, I think you can add to that. I think um, for me, I, I find sustainable vineyard management and sustainable viticulture in some ways to actually go beyond organics. And organic farming is great, and certainly many of the members um, have organic vineyards. Um, and that's an assurance that the people are applying pesticides that are naturally derived. And, um, and, and that's a great assurance for the consumer but one thing or several things that the concept of organic does not address is, um, for example, erosion. And actually, since the 70s, the various resource conservation um, districts and organizations in the Napa Valley have been monitoring uh, the Napa River and its streams and tributaries, and there's really never been a record of pesticide contamination in any of those waterways. However, Continual farming, especially hillside farming, has caused a lot of sediment to pollute the Napa River and its tributaries. And so sustainable farming addresses things like erosion control, reduced tillage, and, um, and naturally building your soil structure, as well as um, things like reducing pesticide inputs. Um, another main uh, area that sustainable covers that organics doesn't really cover is um, is worker health, and of course, mostly naturally derived products are better than synthetically derived products. But we're also talking about um, healthcare for workers. Um, we really take into consideration education of of field workers, um, housing for field workers, and all those types of things. So there's a very important social aspect, both with the community in general as well as for the workers in the vineyard. How hard has it been to convert or educate <clears throat> some of the um, the wine growing companies I, uh, over I time? I don't think too much, too hard. Uh, I'm, well, we've been in existence for twelve years, so the idea has already been out there before then, of course. And the group just, you know, started to get together at that time to promote it even more. I would say that you will find most companies actually calling themselves sustainable growers. Of course, that's a wide definition, and some are going to be a lot more sustainable than others. But the idea of sustainable farming is highly respected, and I think um, everyone would really actually like to see themselves considered a sustainable farmer. 